Good morning, and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. My name is Cindy Collazo, and today is Friday, October 2nd. The readings today have been taken from the book of Job and the Gospel of Matthew, and in them we are reminded of God's providence and protection. Let's start our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God of all consolation, who have shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. O oh God, who with your providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place? For taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface. The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld, and the arm of pride is chartered. Have you entered into the sources of the sea, or walk about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you, or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehend the breadth of the earth? Tell me, if you know all, which is the way to the dwelling place of light? And where is the abode of darkness? That you may take them to the boundaries and set them on their homeward path. You know, because you were born before them and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account what can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I may have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit, from your presence? Where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the nether world, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my innermost beings. You need me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I'm fearfully wonderful made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. 
For I say to you that the angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is there to show us his power, his love, his mercy. And we should always remember that we are his, that this everlasting Lord, all powerful God, is our Father. And we are going to be challenged. Life challenges every day. And sometimes life gives us more than what we really can handle. That's the truth. But also, at that moment, we should remember who we are children of and hand to God our worries, our concerns, the things that we cannot handle anymore. Because he is everlasting, all-powerful, and we will always be his children. Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God may guide us all to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country during this challenging year, that we may find well ways to help each other and grow closer to each other, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical, spiritual healing, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, our Savior, grant us the appreciation of your power, of your mighty power, and an appreciation of your love, your fatherly love in our lives, in your holy name, in your holy presence. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.